Mamma mia, mamma mia, everybody. It's cooking with a lot of me. How are you doing on this Friday evening? I'm now Italian all of a sudden, and I don't know why, considering we're not making an Italian dish, but just go with it. Hello, Robert. Robert is my number one. He is my number one. Yes, he is. Yay, Robert. Are you getting any thunder boomer over there, Robert? It's freaking thunder, lightning and thunder in here pretty crazy right now. Hey, what's up, John? Curly B. Oh, well, that's good. I'm happy that the messages are popping up. All right. Let's get these out of the way. We're going to make these when these are in the oven. Yeah, it's kind of, it just finished pouring right now. Now the sun's trying to come out here. Hello, Kathy. How is the night? So far, the night is grand. It's a good night thus far. All right, everyone. We are baking bacon parmesan chicken. My secret weapon is this bacon parmesan dip. I made this on um, Sunday. It was pretty darn good. So we just take it. We get some of this. This is like $5 at the deli. It's the dip. And then we've got our breadcrumbs ready. You're going to dip the chicken in there. It actually comes out really darn good. So we're going to see... Bacon does make everything better. Now, if you actually had real bacon to go on this too, that would probably make it even better. Better, better, better. This is skinny chicken, so this chicken is already trimmed, which is awesome. It's the good stuff. So I'm still figuring out my best way that I like to do this. This is how I did it last time. I kind of just took a little dollop and gave one side. Do, do a dollop of daisy. We did this side, and then we went into our breadcrumbs. My Bitcoin's making awesomeness today. Fantastic. Thank you, Low Roller. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, there you go, guys. Hello, what's up, T? Yeah, it's raining over here. Raining over here, it's crazy. All right, now we've got some chicken over here, but this guy's lonely. Hello, Wesley. Hello, hello, hello. So this guy's lonely. I don't know why my selfie stick's wanting to fall over all of a sudden. Give me a second. There we go. All right, so this guy can't be lonely anymore. So this, we're going to give this guy some bacon parmesan love. And put that guy then in the pot, which some of that's going to get onto there, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. So let's put some of that over there. There's a little extra bacon parmesan right there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. All right, let's do the same thing with this piece. I think we should get four pieces of chicken, which is exactly how many pieces of chicken that I want. So we're just going to get these... You know what, you can get pretty liberal with it, but. Oh, I just missed what T said. Oh, T doesn't make videos. Yeah, T doesn't make videos. T comes and watches me gamble. She does. She's awesome. All right, put that over there. Then let's throw some more bacon parm over here. This is easy peasy, it's not crazy, yo. And it's probably a little extra fatty because this dip's not really the, um, probably the less in caloric wise. I didn't even look at the whole pack, but I mean, we're not gonna use the whole pack, but. Are you seeing any signs of fall there in Pennsylvania? No, not yet, I'm not ready for fall. Not yet, Kathy, not yet, we're not ready for fall. I prayed and waited for summer and now here it is, summer's almost over. It's kind of depressing, but we're going to live it up. We are going to live it up. Yeah. It got the rainy. It's very humid. Yeah, definitely not fall like here today. It was very hot and humid today. 
and I think that's what's bringing all these thunderstorms. But you guys just missed some really big thunder boomers, but I think we're done and out of those now. What is up, Michelle? We're having bacon parmesan chicken, basically. Basically, basically, basically. All right, we got one more piece to get lathered up here in the pool. I think that's all of our chicken. This guy's a small guy, but that's all right. We might have to add a little bit more dip, but you know what? We might make it. He's a small fella. Yeah, Florida. Oh, yeah, you definitely don't see it down there. Mm, that's okay. Hey, low roller, did I ever tell you that I didn't? I really don't even care about Bitcoin anymore. I mean, I thank you and appreciate you for all of your tips, but yeah, man. I was a one-time buyer. All right, let's see. Can we get it enough bacon parm for this guy? I think so. It'll be enough to give it some flavoring. All right, now we're going to take this back in here to the pool. Now, you can get any type of breadcrumbs. I used panko before. These are just lightly toasted regular ones, but they're still seasoned. All right, let me clean off these hands, and then we'll get these into the oven. I already have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. I would preferably not want any salmonella. So, we're gonna go ahead and get these out of the way into the pool. The pool of dishes, which I have to do after this. Hello, Russell Snyder, what's shaking, bud? All right, put that out. Oh. What's for you? Ah, no, no dessert, no dessert. Cooking, yes, cooking, definitely. Nope, we're just making chicken and cauliflower. I Penny usually does not cook dessert. He doesn't got that crazy, but cooking with the king. That's right, Jordan. All right, now these are in here about 400 degrees. We're gonna go ahead, put these on the middle shelf for not too long. I think last time I let them go about 20 minutes, and then I check them, and then I'm gonna put them on the broiler. But yeah, no, you can have a cookie or something. That's what I eat, Michelle. Cookie, a small piece of chocolate out of Belinda's box. You're good to go. That's what we eat here. Yeah, Belinda would love you to talk about her box again. All right, now we're going to do some cauliflower. Ooh, can't stand that. With my beat up cookware. Yes. Okay, beat up cookware time. Yes. No, it's Belinda gave me her box. She died. She died, she died, she died. Now, for those coming in and LOL and get to cooking, we may be doing a scratch stream after this a little later. Um, according to um, ScanCon, to Joshua, he said I should do one because people love one since I won't be doing one tomorrow night. I'm like, all right, we'll see. So, but yeah, but we have to complete this amazing meal. We're not doing um, salads because, again, I need to get a rotisserie chicken. We're probably going to do this on Sunday. But hello, I'm Mary Victor Newman. Thank you, thank you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, indeed. Oh, All right, we are just going to boil this cauliflower. What's up? You can do this in the microwave. If you're short on time, but we've got time. I know, hashtag super chat for new cookware, Russell Snyder. But it's all good. This is the same cookware I've had since I moved here. I mean, all of the coatings off of it. I haven't gotten cancer yet as far as I know. So, I mean, we're good. So, I need one and a half cups. Yeah, let's go ahead and add some water to that. That's got some water in on its own. We're gonna get that cooking. Cook, cook, and cook it. Gonna put the lid over top of that to let that guy go. All right, just like that. It's pretty much, it's not done yet, but it's cooking. That is all it takes. The prep is super duper easy and amazing. 
It is. Let's go over here and check on Ollie. Ollie, what about you, brother? Sprinkle some paprika. Uh, I usually do put some seasoning in there. I might put some salt and pepper in there, actually. But we'll let her start to boil down a little bit, and then we'll throw it in there. How's it going, Ollie? Tell everyone about your Friday. Hey, what's up, Rosetta? Yes. Yes, Ollie's like, you bet I am the Q's cat. I'm the Q's cat out there. Some Brussels sprouts. I have Brussels sprouts up there. I have some salt and pepper Brussels sprouts, which I have not made yet that I got on the clearance rack. Ollie, are you going to drink what's left in here? Actually, there's not much left in there. Ollie's like, I'm saving that. Are you saving that? All right, let's go back over here. Oh, let's get it, actually. You know what? It has garlic in it, but we might put our garlic salt in there. Hello, Tina. Ooh, that would actually be good. Yeah, to put them in there with the chicken. Absolutely. Hello, Biz T. Hello, everybody. Salt, pepper for added flavoring. Cauliflower is awesome, but pretty much you can cauliflower taste like anything that you want. Spaghetti tacos. That's getting too way out of my realm. Totally out of my realm. Talk. I make things that are easy enough to reheat during the week. Tacos are a tough one. You can do tacos, but you kind of have to get the taco, kind of get all your taco fixing done ahead of time. So yeah, so pretty much, this is the biggest thing. We just let that cook up, let this boil, boom. We're gonna have chicken, it's gonna smell great in here. And that's cooking with a lot of king on a Friday. Simple, easy peasy. You know, I don't wanna overcomplicate things. We're going to go ahead and get a pool over here for our dirty dishes and let them soak. So after... They took the bus to the casino. Yay, casino! But just remember everybody, there will be no cooking with the Lotto King next weekend. There will actually be no lottery live streams next weekend either. I know you're going to be very saddened, but just keep that in mind. I can't say no live streams in general, or probably not. Can I need lead? Well, there's things you can do to get that done. I'm, I can't help you, but... Wow. I've got some... I love my viewers. Things always get crazy up in here, Ollie. They do. All right, let's get that going. And, uh, we've got our pool in there. Hello, Ann Vaughn. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Let's flip this around. You can look at my uh, my ugly face on a Friday, my tired face on a Friday. But yeah, so all that stuff is in there. Just gonna let that go. We might actually do some dishes here while this cooks. I guess I could take you over here. I don't know if the light's gonna be bad. I'm not gonna make you look at the dishes tonight. What do you mean, why no cooking? I'm going to Las Vegas next weekend. I married Victor Newman, so. I will not be cooking. That would be why, because I will be on an airplane to Las Vegas when I typically would be cooking. Actually, I'll probably be in the Baltimore airport, but yeah. Sexy kitty. Um, probably. I'll probably microwave that week. I still have some. Actually, you know what? I had this Stouffer's uh, meatloaf, and it was amazing. So, you know. Stouffer's has come a long way. Now, I know that shit's full of sodium and stuff, but it's still pretty damn good. So, yeah, as soon as I get done cleaning up these dishes, our cauliflower need a good stirring. I'm going to multitask with you all rather than just watch them. Yeah. Pot trying to boil. Yeah, but I literally, it's only for a day I married Victor Newman. It's a very long story um, that I probably won't explain the story, but I will just um, kind of, I'll give my experience of the story nonetheless. But it is for pleasure. It's not for hookers or anything like that. So. <laughs> I know, but when you need stuffers in a hurry, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, 
Have you met you before? Uh, I think I have, but not a lot. I'm keeping it on the DL. We're DLing the Vegas trip. And then I'm trying to think, after that is Labor Day weekend. Um, then, Labor Day weekend, we might be going to visit Christian Alberti at Penn State, possibly. But, um... Then after that, I'll be in Atlantic City, which I may do Cooking with a Lot of King that Friday night. I will Labor Day weekend, too. But I'm not positive what I'm doing yet, so. <sighs> but once after that, things kind of calm down. But then I start to go to Boston, and I'm going to a conference in early November. And then I go back to Vegas again over November. I just put in all my vacation days with my boss today. It's like nine, eight days, eight or nine days for the rest of the year, so. I've been hoarding vacation days to take all these vacations. I mean, my one vacation is to Boston to go to the doctor for a marathon doctor visit. That's not that exciting, but... So, yeah. But it'll be okay. All right, while that goes, let's go ahead and stir. Stir our cauliflower, everybody. We lost two viewers. They're like, where the hell's the food? It's coming, it's coming. And the chicken's in there. You gotta keep this, cause these kinda have these little these little garlic flavor packets. Just wanna kinda get this start to go on. So they can go in their own sauce. Who my boss? No, my boss wasn't upset. He's cool. He knows about pretty much all these trips because we have a calendar that I've already put them on the calendar, but you're supposed to fill out an official uh, vacation slip. So that's what I did today. I filled out like all of my vacation slips for the rest of the year. But And I was going to take the one because I'm just taking off on a Friday to go to Philly for a conference. And he's like, you already work enough hours. He's like, I'm not, you're good. I'm like, all right, sweet. Oh, no. No, I, what I Stouffer's, I'm talking about like Stouffer's meatloaf. Is that okay or is that bad? That's probably bad too. It's pretty good. It's, it's come a long way. It's better than the last one that I remember, but. <laughs> I am not getting married in Vegas, no. That was something else I figured someone would ask me, no. But I am going to get a piece of $300 steak. I'm going to be eating good for free and it's not costing me anything, so. The whole trip is literally only costing me like the $350 for the airfare. That's it. So it should be an interesting little, little uh, jaunt. I'm actually going with someone who's never been to Las Vegas for. So essentially, I'm kind of like the tour guide. So I'm going to Vegas for comps. Yeah, for comps. Sure. You want to come too? Hello, Reds. What's up, buddy? I'm currently washing my dishes while the chicken's in the oven. And I just want to let you know, Reds, anyone else out there, we are going to do a ticket stream tonight, I think, after I get this done. It's probably going to be around 8 o'clock Eastern time. Who are you going to Vegas with? That I can't tell you. It's a secret. Hello, Kathy, but you don't know this person, so. Yeah, it's not too bad. But literally, I mean, I'm going to be so jet-lagged. But you big buddy! No, I like the new 20 ticket. Did you see that, um, um, Sir Scratch a lot? He got a multiplier. No, you don't know this person, Ms. T. Redskins him, possibly. Is Hi Baby here? Um, I don't know, man. Um, actually, I don't think so, Crook. But, yeah. Is it a male? Possibly. I can't verify this. As far as I know, it's a male, yes. I will let you know that. It's not any love interest or anything, but... Yes, I'm going to have Wagyu beef. Wagyu from Japan. It's not Big D, no, fuck no. <laughs> yes, I'm taking Michelle with, secretly. We're flying her in all the way from the UK. Oh, you're not sure, Kenneth? I know, that's true. You guys have no proof. We always talk about my little PP, but... Yeah. Do we talk about my little PP? I don't know. But yeah, guys, I was watching that video. Can you get a hit 1,000? I suppose. 
But I'm probably just gonna go get tickets and then come back. I'm not gonna take you all with me because the rain's kind of on and off here and I don't wanna get my phone soaked. And every time I take you all with me, I get so stressed. So I'll probably just go buy tickets and then come back. Yeah, still for lasagna is good. But I'm thinking we're gonna go live around eight o'clock. I'm just gonna set it for eight o'clock. No rebuys, no skills. We're just gonna do a round of lottery tickets. Just cause. And Kenny's gonna get drunk, so. <laughs> Hello, BB. You want to buy you a ticket? What ticket do you want? One of every one in the machine. Sure. Ooh, Velveeta cheesesteak. That's pretty good. I like Velveeta. Ooh, how's our chicken doing, guys? Let's take a peek. Ooh, guys, our chicken is getting good. Our chicken's actually not going to be too bad, so. All right, see you, Kathy Keith. Have yourself a great night. The chicken is looking good, guys, by the time I get done with these dishes. You want a 50X. Oh, I hate that ticket, Ms. T. Nobody likes that ticket. You should look at the new PA tickets and see if you like one of those tickets. I mean, I could buy one, but I don't think every, anyone's ever hitting the 50X. Even Jack said so, too. He's like, no one's hitting the 50X. What am I burning tonight? We've got chicken in the oven. You're soon gonna get the reveal here very shortly. $50 worth of bingo. And I did mention that I'm planning to have Fireball tonight. So yeah, I don't know. But yet again, no live tickets tomorrow night because I'm going to my family reunion. Not my family reunion, my class reunion. Yeah, we'll get some Wheel of Fortune. We'll probably get the new 20. Probably not big money, but. Ugh, I don't know, Ms. T, I don't know. All right, sounds good, Kathy Keith, again. I'm shooting for 8 o'clock Eastern time, so. Yeah, I'm just going to buy whatever I feel. I don't know if I'm going to go to Puffs. Silver and gold, yeah, I don't know what they're going to have. Puffs, once they get the new ones, they start to clear out all those old ones, so silver and gold could be disappearing from Puffs. But a $30 ticket, no, probably not. My budget doesn't allow for a $30 ticket. It does, but it could be a very short stream, and, you know, you guys know my opinion on $30 tickets, so not even going to, you know, go there. But <laughs> All right, no problem, Michelle. What are you What are you wearing, I married Victor Newman? No fucking Fruit Loot. Yeah, they don't have Fruit Loot there. Like, do you have to drink? Oh, for the Wagyu beef? Yeah, well, no, it's business cash. If you're talking about Vegas, I thought you were talking about now what am I wearing? I'm like, that's a very personal question. I mean, Victor Newman. Guys, our cauliflower is booming. That's right, Ming Hung. That is so right. But again, we're only doing one ticket stream tomorrow, so what the hell? This will be our first stream. We'll do the second stream pre-noon tomorrow. It'll be all good. We might go play skills tomorrow afternoon, too, since I'm not doing tomorrow night, so... Because i got to get you all your skill play And What is up, Junior? Ooh, this stuff smells good. So this is just a rice cauliflower with garlic. And we put our own garlic salt in and a little bit of salt and pepper for extra flavoring. This is probably actually almost done. We're probably just going to let it sit. i got to go check on our chicken. Ooh, guys, there's some chicken in there. That chicken is probably actually done, but we're going to let it in there a little bit to make sure she's all the way done. <sighs> yeah. I should live stream at my class reunion, but I don't know how to take that. So actually, it's funny. I actually saw one of my class members that I haven't talked to since high school. He just kind of looked at me funny last night when I was talking to my phone. I'm like, yeah, I'm live. Don't worry. Oh, this, this chicken actually looks pretty good. It actually comes out good, too, and it's easy, super easy. It's very flavorful. Um, it's cauliflowers, and this is just like a side. I mean, you could do rice, but I've been doing the cauliflower lately. It is lower carb. Anything that I can cut back just a smidgen. That way I can still eat my pizza. It'll be good. Um, no, Ollie's over on the punching bag right now, Ming. I actually showed him earlier before you got here. He's just chilling over there right now. And Kit, I believe, is back in the bedroom. But oh, I know Kit, Ollie. I'm talking about you. But yeah, I, I keep showing these. But these are the um, almonds I got. 
their um, blue diamond Gar garlic urban olive oil they're freaking amazing Jessica Davitsky said she didn't like them but don't let the spoon fall in I think the spoon did fall in <laughs> either that or I did too they disappeared and I probably missed it on YouTube. Yep, your spoon. <laughs> hey, there's the spoon. It's too late. Hey, thanks. There's arsenic in the almonds. Yeah, but they're so good though, man. They're so good. Yeah, but it was too late. Too late. All right, guys, I think our chicken's just about done. I reckon so. Look at that chicken. We're going to go ahead and pull that chicken out. Maybe cut her apart, see if she's done. It doesn't take long. It does not take too long at all. We're not going to burn myself this time. Last time I burned myself. Let there be chicken. That chicken actually looks pretty hella good. We're gonna go and cut that open, but I'm fairly certain it is done. And again, I do microwave these for about four minutes before I eat them. So anything that's not completely done now, it'll be done later. So I'm not overly worried about it. As far as full temperature wise, as long as it looks good, it's good. Need to cook more? No, it'll be enough. It'll definitely be enough. Oh, you mean it needs to cook more? Yeah, it could use to cook more because you can look that right there. We're just going to cut these in half, though, and then we're going to put them back in. Yeah, because that one there is a little pink, and that's a little not too pink for my going. So it's not bad. This guy probably needs some more help, though. Eh, he's done. We'll put it in there a little bit, a little bit. I mean... This one here is a little runny, so I think we're going to go ahead and put him back in there, but only for a smidgen. When my tripod wants to fall over. Yeah. There we go. All right. We'll put her in a little. Actually, you know what? I think we might broil it, but. Yeah, exactly. I might have a new job in two weeks. Fantastic. Eat the roll chicken, eat Chipotle, get sick and see Chipotle. No, I'm all right. I, I've had food poisoning and I know. I did that in Reno last year. I know. You couldn't even let me sue Chipotle to get that again. I can't. I do have pants on, I can prove that. Ollie, what are you doing? Ming Hung wants to see you, brother. Oliver, I see a few people wanted to see you. Where are you going? Let's step my feet. What are you doing? <coughs> Ollie's like, I smell chicken, guys. There's chicken up in here in my place of residence. He's like, it's too much. It is too much, all. It is too much. All he has no pants on now. All right, guys. This stuff is done. Done, 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 done. All he has probably said he wants some of the chicken. All right, we're just gonna let that sit there and boil a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Chicken gets done, let's go ahead. Actually, you know what, we're not gonna let that go. We're gonna go ahead and start to divvy out that rice onto the bowls. And then we can add our chicken to that. I'm trying to think, guy. I don't need to cook lunch one day next week because I have a salad coming at work. Will you be gambling in Las Vegas? A little bit, I married Victor Newman. Not a lot, because I'm going to Atlantic City for a three-day weekend, the weekend after Labor Day. So, 
only a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be watching some gambling otherwise as well, but there will be some high limit play that I will be supervising. Supervising, not funding. Uh, yeah, I can tell you that. Uh, we're hoping to get a video, but I don't know. We'll see. Any advice for cashiering? Uh, I can't give you any advice, man. I was a cashier at Burger King. I did that for a couple shifts. I didn't like it. I don't know where you're cashiering at, but... Like, are you cashiering fast food? We're taking Big D to get a prostitute. Now, Big D is not involved in this. I am going to be leaving you next weekend, yes. I know, I know, I married Victor Newman, I know, I know. I married Victor Newman, I think you came up on Facebook as one of my recommended friends. I may, if I, I'll friend you, you can follow along on my Facebook page, because I'm sure I will post updates. Um, yeah, or I'll post them on the Lotto King page too, but... What is up, CP Scratch? We have some nice cauliflower here. We got some chicken in the oven finishing itself up. We're just giving that a one little extra. It was a little runny, so we don't want runny chicken. I got an extra bag for free. I probably could have cooked another bag, but it'll be all right. Cauliflower really doesn't fill you up, but. Should I steal to buy tickets? That would be a no. You don't want to do that. Put some pepper on there. A little pepper, 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 pepper. And you know what, we're going to dash with a little bit of garlic salt as well, everybody, just to give us a little bit of extra flavoring. Puff love camera tonight. No, we're actually going to be doing tickets, um, JP, around 8 o'clock Eastern time. I'm going to go out and get some tickets. We're not doing any skills or rebuying tonight of any sorts. And the only skills and tickets tomorrow are going to be around 11.30 Eastern because I've got plans tomorrow night. So if you want to do skills, you gotta be here early tomorrow. Uh, yeah. But I'm planning to come home and get alcohol with my tickets. So that's why we're not rebuying or going anywhere. So thank you for understanding. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to go and do that then. I have no clue what time it is right now, but that's going to be around 8 o'clock. I figure I'm probably going to have some time. All right, let's get this into the pool with the kids over here. Get everything washed right away. Let's go. I think we can get our chicken out now. I think it's probably good. Unless we want to do a broil cycle, but... Mm. You know what? Let's do a little broil cycle. 6.51. Okay, I got time. Thank you, Ms. T. He's got plenty of time. We're still gonna stay around eight o'clock. It's fine. What'd you do to that chicken? I put a, um, it was a Parmesan bacon dip and I put it in that and then I put it in breadcrumbs. And so it makes it bacon Parmesan chicken. It's actually really good. I made it on Sunday. It's pretty good. You suck at cooking. Is that why you pepper, pepper, pepper that way? No, I don't know. I do not watch that. I just pepper, pepper. So yeah, so it smells amazing. We're gonna go to just put it on a little broil cycle for a minute or two. I am in, I am due for new freaking range pans. The thing about having an electric oven, I bought new range pans probably every two months. And then it gets all the skank around the outside, which is a bitch to get off of there. I gotta get a, another magic eraser and do that. I did my tub tonight with a magic eraser because it needed a good deep clean. I did a good bathroom deep clean before this. I'm trying to stay on top of that shit. I'm coming for my dinner, Kenny. It's just gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. It smells good in here. You know what I had from Sheets tonight? It's amazing. It's a spicy chicken Caesar salad. Oh my gosh, it's like a perfect combo. 
with the cheese and the spicy chicken and oh my god let me go ahead and make out to the chicken oh it's so good and i make it more chicken and ah uh, uh, skank hunt skank hunt where is skank hunt skank hunt skank hunt skank hunt's the one who wanted me to play tickets tonight and then he's like you love the attention don't you of course i'm like i love to live stream um skills actually get better views for me but sure we'll do a candlelight dinner absolutely i don't feel like playing skills tonight after last night they were so sour so i'm like there's gonna be fireball and lottery tickets so that yeah, should be something fun to on friday night even for a little while again i usually try to be done by 9 30 till texting and candy goes on which if we start at eight it's not going to take an hour and a half but 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 when the alcohol gets flowing you know i start ranting so Oh, yes, it was skanky. My stove top is skanky. It is skanky. I mean, and I know you can clean this shit, but you really got to get in there, underneath there. I mean, I keep everything else clean, but it's just, it looks skanky. Skanky, skanky, skanky. But again, I rent this range, so I'm not overly concerned about it. All right, how's that chicken now that it's broiling? Oh, that chicken is well, well done. Let's go ahead and pull her out for another chicken reveal. Yes, it's so skanky skank hunt. I was so funny the other night, that woman who bets big, she's like, oh my god, that's horrible, skank hunt. So I'm like, yeah. All right, guys. There's some more of that yummy chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. I think we're going to divide it up evenly because some days I've got bigger pieces than others, so we're going to be fair. Ooh, look at that. We would do ten other tickets. Hey, yeah, sure. Just let me know what you want, Rosetta. We can do that, but you can't make me do crossword puzzles, though. I know, Belinda. We were talking about your box earlier. They said, "Why don't I cook dessert?" I'm like, "Well, usually I just have a cookie or I get chocolate from Belinda's box." <laughs> we're already talking about your box. So funny. Elbow grease is good. Yeah. Elbow grease. Is this like legit spray or is that like a sarcastic thing? Just elbow grease. Ugh. All right. This chicken is awesome chicken. This smells so good. You're no fun. Yeah, sorry. I'm planning to have alcohol tonight and it's Friday night. There's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to play a crossword puzzle, Rosetta. Unless you just want me to get it and scan it, but that's going to be no fun. Yes, this chicken came out awesome. Oh, okay, sweet. All right. So we got some crunchies. If you're like, you never give up the oven crunchies, you got to put an oven crunchy on there. Yeah, everybody needs a little oven crunchies. This actually is kind of like a little sauce, actually. It's like, because it's got the sauce from there. What do you mean, remind me to never eat your cooking? My cooking is amazing. I'm going to take all this chicken goodness kind of put it on the chicken <laughs> on the chicken because all that in is extra dip that just didn't get stuck to anything that's cool don't hate what do you mean it's bad it's cauliflower and chicken i mean the, the dip part probably wasn't the best thing to do but yeah you can add crunchies to the cauliflower what we could do is, is add some breadcrumbs to the cauliflower but since this is going to sit in the fridge, I don't want it to, you know, stick up. Uh... Okay. All right, guys. So, like, you know, once it's plated, the chicken doesn't look horrible. You know, the little crunchies, you don't need that. I mean, Elmer Lazos, he's not putting crunchies and shit in there. But, you know, I do. And I can because I want to. And I'm a renowned chef. Oh, what do you mean? Why? What is your issue with my chicken? I ate this on Sunday and I felt amazing. See? Michelle says it looks amazing. It's good chicken. Chicken and some cauliflower. Absolutely. All right. Let's go over here. Wow, I got you all on here. Well, there's 17 of you on here. So again, if you're just joining us, text guy, we're going to be scratching tickets about 8 o'clock Eastern. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to have a fireball-ridden drunken live stream tonight and possible rant session. 
What do you mean delicious except the cauliflower? No, the cauliflower is so good. Cauliflower is like awesome. I'm so glad I found it in a rice format. What do you mean it looks sketchy? Like, what are you worried about? Do you guys want to do dishes with me? <laughs> We're going to do some dishes. Yay. Look at all this skank that's in there. There's more skank in the dishes. I need to do a load of laundry tonight, too. No, there's probably going to be some rants tonight. Depending on people piss me off, but we'll see. If they start getting me going about $20 tickets. Chicken! Worried about the chicken. What's wrong with the chicken? The chicken's fine. It's fully cooked. It's good to go. It's going to be refrigerated. Till I eat it. I'm not sure where the problem is. I mean, it's just me. See, where else can you get live cleaning dishes anywhere on YouTube? Only right here, friends. Only right here. You know, hence why I can't. I just topped 3,500 subs, you know. Did you cook it to 165 or higher? No. But again, I'm not eating it, Redskins fan. And after, I'm going to microwave them four minutes. So uh, I want to eat them during the week. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to totally finish off that. And we're not worried about the temperature. And I've been more broiled. And we put them back in there. Ms. T's just worried for me, but hey, I had food poisoning in Reno from eating fully cooked food that had some illness on it. And we're not doing that again this year. We're staying away from that buffet. Because I'm gonna be just a on vacation. I'm so excited for Reno 2018 in Vegas. We had fun last year other than my little snafu of being sick, but hopefully this year I'm not as sick and I can eat. And so me and Jess need to win a Pirates jackpot so I can fund that trip. Because I always have my regular gambling bankroll, but then I have to do a live stream bankroll of like at least $100 or $200 a day. What is up, Border Scratcher? We're doing cleaning here. We're finishing up from the, um, from the cooking. We got some nice chicken over here if you're just joining us, everybody. There's that chicken. It's so good. We're just going to go ahead and clean this. Clean this here. Ms. T's back. Fantastic. We're doing dishes, Ms. T. Hello, Amy. What's up? We're gonna just going to do some dishes right here. And then if you're just joining us again, I wanted to announce I am doing a live stream. In approximately an hour, there's going to be lottery tickets and fireball. So please join me. I think I have at least about $110 for tickets, so um, I am going to buy one Border Scratch here, yes, I have not bought them yet, but alright, thanks Michelle. So yeah, once I get this cleaned up, I'm going to let you all go, and then I will be back again around 8 o'clock. No, it's not crusty. Do you know how old this pan is? This pan is as old as me. My mom owned this pan. And you see all this shit up here in the corner? That stuff's been there for 20 years. And it only makes your cooking better. Don't be a naysayer and say that it's bad. There was never any coating on here either because these pans are so old. My mom gave these to me. There's memories. There's childhood memories. What is up, Josh H? We are doing a live stream, Josh H, at 8 o'clock. I still have to go and get the tickets. I'm going to go and get the tickets myself because last time I took you all with me, I got all stressed out trying to honor everybody's request. And I don't want anybody to get butt hurt, so you're just going to be surprised. But yeah. What up, William Stone? I'm going to be drinking here, too. We're going to be scratching tickets in about an hour. No, yeah, see all this shit on here? That is all clean. Uh, there's going to be no extreme green because I'm going to Pops. No $30 tickets. If you want me to rant about $30 tickets, come back later. I will be drinking. There will be ranting. There will be nonsense. So it's going to be a good time. We're hoping to win any money so we can use it to play tomorrow. So yeah, Rosetta, if you want any tickets, 
Shoot me a message on Facebook. I know, things are gonna get crazy. I mean, and if you're just joining us, I made this amazing chicken and cauliflower. It's really good. Oh, geez. I'm not gonna get, what the fuck is it? Who wants a $10 fast play ticket? Ew. Sorry. Pardon my French kids, but who wants a $10 fast play ticket? No. What, do you want me to get some freaking horse racing too? Oh wait, it's not really regular race, it's car racing. <laughs> Look at me, I'm getting pissed already. I'm like, yeah, yeah. See, Kenny's got his PM, he's PMSing already, guys. Ladies, these hands were meant for what? Yeah, Kino. Yeah, I'm going to be at one of the new $20 ticket. If I, yeah, we watch Amy. Um, because um, Katie started to do a little cooking for us. But yeah, ladies, these hands will wash your dishes. You will even get random food on your freaking hands. I'm not afraid of dishes. I got to do my own dishes, ladies. So, you know, if you want me to come over and do your dishes, you know how to get a hold of me. I'm willing, ready, and able. Yeah, let's put you all back over here. Yeah, but I don't like $10 fast plays are so quick. And I mean, I have a limited budget because I'm poor, as you know. So I don't think so. But thank you. All right, see you, Belinda. Yeah, so we'll see everybody at an all bar. Those hands are made for what? Did you say Mr. Puppy? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think the rain has stopped too, everybody, so that is good, I think. Where's my message at Road? How about a five dollar one? That may be Redskins fan. What? Well, I'm just talking about these ladies who already have men who won't do anything. What? No, well, this chicken's burnt right here. That's a burnt piece. I am a diamond, but it costs money to be diamond. But yeah, so that chicken's burnt right there. That chicken's not too bad. I mean, this one, for instance, that one didn't get too bad. All right, see a Redskins fan, I make no promises, but but yeah, I like crunchy stuff, so. Yeah, it poured here. You guys missed it. Before I went live, there was a freaking tree. It was crazy. It's not fast cooked. It's cooked all the way. Shit. I mean, haters are going to hate, 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 but Kenny's cooking's lovely. I've had many compliments on it. I have many house guests over there like, Lotto King, we love your cooking. Can you give us the recipe? And absolutely. Sometimes I'll send them home with a recipe. Maybe you know, I'll box up a little dish for them. You know. <laughs> I did quote Miss Taylor Swift. Ah. Uh. I have a gambling question because you are all things given. Can I use food comp without gambling? I know free play is a no no, but um, I think so, William, because it counts as a swipe, so they look at it as a gaming day. I think the same thing goes for parking. I mean, just in my opinion, I do reckon, sir. I don't, I can't guarantee that. It's probably a question for the forum, but. Yeah, I don't try to just park and not gamble because if it, it shows that I was there and I didn't gamble, so they may look at that in a negative way. The casinos know all. Ollie, I'm coming over to you, man. I'm going to go show everybody you before we get going. I was going to go get coffee, but we're going to get drunk on Fireball, so we'll just not do coffee. Maybe we'll have more coffee for tomorrow's stream. I have to be at the car to the Subaru dealership at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Miss T, Miss T, you're not going to barf. It's fine. It is absolutely fine. Kenny's home cooking. And it's These bitches go crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not going to mess yet. 
These bitches go crazy. Mmm, Ollie, what the? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're gonna get fireball. I have to go to the store and buy lottery tickets. I'm gonna get on a pups and get ourselves some lotto tickets. Alls, alls, that little man. Um, I'm getting a oil change and a tire rotation. So it's gonna be exciting. So I should be able to get out of there by nine, be home, get some stuff done, and then I'll live stream around 11.30. We're gonna live stream, go play skills, do tickets, and then, yeah. And then that'll be all of my streaming this weekend, cause yeah. Unless Saturday night I get done on my reunion early, but I doubt it. How's Timothy doing? Ollie, I have to go get my socks. How about you entertain the people while I come back? Dinner and grocery shopping, nice. For the oil change, yeah, I have to pay for the oil change, unfortunately. But I have a coupon, I married Victor Newman. I got 10% off. What, you've never tasted Fireball? No, that was not Kenny, that was my shoes. He is the official Lotto King mascot, he is. But I gotta have to probably sit down to put my shoes on. You made a job. Poor Ollie. All it'll take anything. Kit, he doesn't. Here you go. I need to move so I can put my shoes on. You know Kenny has to sit to put his shoes on. All he's like, what the hell is this shit? Say what the hell is this shit? <laughs> yeah, Kit got pushed aside. Ah. Hey guys, it's laundry night, so I got some half dirty socks for all you sock people out there. Ollie, what's that towel doing over there? Whose is that? Why is it over there? Why is it on the floor? Is that scratch me off like sweat towel? If it is, you need to tell him to take that and move that shit. Guys, I may be drinking before you guys go live later here in about 50 minutes, so. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a pregame going on, probably. So, by the time I go live, I'll already be a little sloshed up. Should make for a good time. <laughs> Say, Ollie. Ollie's that? Yay, Kenny! Yay! Yay! We're gonna have a drunken Kenny up in here. I'm planning the pregame at my class reunion tomorrow because I said at the bar, so I might go down. A little early in pregame before all the people get there. I'm sure I won't be the only one. Oh. Alls, what are you doing? Alright, sounds good, Amy. Don't time off, scratch me off. We can go up there and say hi to him for you all. You know what? The funny thing is, I went on and I started searching. If you start searching PA lottery, you know, sometimes you just need to see how you're doing. Um, Jack comes up, Cody, pretty much Jack and Cody dominate that. There's some search scratch a lot. Some of my stuff comes up, but scratch me off $30 ticket. You only drink clear liquor. Mm. Yeah, pretty much the other one's dirty too, but it is laundry day. But scratch me off $30 ticket got like 7,000 views. And I think he won like $40, but... Hey, I'm the Lotto King. I built a whole car this one time and fun. I probably will. Yeah. Last, at my 10th year class reunion, everyone was fascinated by my gambling life, so I'm sure much of that will continue. Uh, 
But according to the Facebook event page, there's a whole like 12 people coming. So it could be a very slow day, but we'll see. Ollie, what are you doing? Ollie, we got to go to Puffs. And I think um, Paul Puff works on 11 to 7, so he's probably gone by the time we get there. I know. It's, it's a shame. We like to say hi to Paul Puff. We'll see him tomorrow, though. <laughs> oh, Ollie, look at you, beautiful baby. Say you're a beautiful baby. Kit's beautiful, too. We'll go see if we can find Kit before we go and let these people go. And then we'll let them take a breather. Let's go. Boo. There's a kid on the floor. We didn't have to go far. Kid's like, I'm on the floor. <coughs> I'm on the floor, everybody. It's all lies. Well, <laughs> you're not gonna go into yeah, you're not gonna go into Cantor's place. <laughs> About 150, I married Victor Newman. <laughs> yeah, yeah but not all those people are on Facebook though. It was kind of just like a Facebook thing. Nah. It's just weird. Like, like I said, like everyone's acting. All right, Kit. I don't want to disturb you. I know. I was going to keep walking. I would have totally just walked over top of them. So that would be no good. All right, kids. Well, let's go out here. We got to go get our ticket thingy. <laughs> yeah, many are in prison and can't come. That too. But I have a feeling there'll probably be more. A lot of the people want to make their grand entrance. There's a lot of those people, so... Okay, what do I need? What do I need? Oh, I actually have Rosetta's tickets as well. Plus, I have New York tickets. I might do those tomorrow, though. Ollie, we've got our lucky PA lottery pack. We're going to go down to Puffs and visit Bandit Man's old lady. I believe she's working tonight. We will be back, and we're going to get the fireball rolling. So I will see you all in approximately 45 minutes, 8 o'clock. Come join me live. We'll do some tickets tonight. Ticket and booze in 45 minutes. All right, until then, I'll see you. Make sure you set your alarm. You were the 12th thumbs up. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Baby, I'll be back in 45 minutes, even though you can't watch my live stream. You should always see them after. But <laughs> So we'll see you, text guy. We'll see everybody. 45 minutes, come back. All right, until then, see ya. Ah, look at that.